Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Slav YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about this tool. This is a K6 Studio where you can record your scripts and even in fact you can uh, run your K6 scripts using the K6 Studio. So this has actually a lot of uh, advantages and we'll see them one by one in the upcoming video. But for now, in this video, we'll see the very first step which is uh, how to install and then we'll see how to create your first script using K6 Studio. And this is going to be very interesting and more useful for you. Uh, and we're going to create a uh, Create multiple videos back to back after this like how to do parameterization how to do a correlation and how to run a load test so there are like much more coming on but this is again the first video i'm taking uh, i'll be taking you through the next steps one by one uh, so before we even record your uh, script uh, this is the uh, website for us to install so grafana.com slash docs k6 studio setup uh, install and it will take us to the release page and if you want to download if you are someone who is using windows you can download it uh, download the axe version and if you're someone who is using uh, the mac os you can download the dmg version and here you can find the exe and the dmg version of uh, dmg this is for the uh, mac and this exe is for the windows operating system and you can download and install it the process is very simple like just download and do a double click and automatically it will install it for you and then once you install it come back to the k6 studio so here you have lots of uh, uh, Op options for you to use so the first thing is um, you have you can uh, you okay we have like three uh, different uh, uh, components we have like one is the uh, recorder which you can use to build the script uh, we can use to build the user flow where you can record the flows and then the second one is we can uh, we can use the generator where we can transform the script to the uh, to the case of the script which is we can generate it to the to the uh, K6 Studio compatible script and that's the second step and then we have the validator where we can debug and validate our K6 script so these all these three will help us to run a complete K6 uh, Studio scripting uh, in testing using K6 Studio and then uh, the next part is uh, yeah so this is the whole part and then the K6 Studio so here any uh, script that we record will come to this under this recording part and any uh, uh, script that has been uh, transformed will be under the test generator and any script that we need to run I mean do the testing it will come under the scripts and after that we have a few icons here and this is the proxy status it shows the proxy status is online and then this button here the settings button it will help us to uh, set up the port number so in case if you are uh, using uh, uh, a different port number for your K6 today if you're someone who is using inside your uh, client organization you can set up the port or else you can use the uh, port which is available here so this is something like the JMeter port where you can set up the port and uh, any um, uh, transaction that is captured via this port will be captured into your network mm -hmm. and if you are choosing this one uh, this checkbox here will allow K6 Studio to find any available port uh, for you to use uh, for the K6 Studio to use and then uh, under this option under the proxy mode we have two options one is the regular and the other one is upstream so the regular one uh, is where you can use the requests that are performed from this computer and the upstream is where you can request uh, you can use the requests which are forwarded to an upstream server and for now i'm going to use the regular one and then coming back to the recorder uh, we have like multiple options in case if i want to use uh, my firefox i can just choose i can go to the program files i can choose my uh, firefox or if i want to choose edge i can choose my edge browser uh, here in this scenario i'm going to use the chrome browser so it's not like the previous one i think I, in some videos i have seen uh, there is no option to even uh, set up the browser but here I mean in this public version they have given us the option to set up the um, browser so you can set up any browser that you want to set and then uh, the usage collection so uh, by checking this you are sending the anonymous usage data to Grafana to aid in the development of K6 Studio and for now uh, let me uncheck this and let me save the changes and before that I can go to the appearance yeah and in the appearance in case if you want to use a light mode you can use light mode for dark mode you can use a dark mode and for the system mode you can use the system settings and then coming back to the logs yep so here anyways the system will be uh, that will be logs that is running and then yep, for now let me close with the current changes whatever I've changed that's been saved and then yeah we are good to start our recording and for that uh, you can either click on the record flow 
and then I'm going to enter the URL. So any URL that you want to uh, uh, script or any uh, web application you want to script, you can enter it here. And I'm going to enter. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me get that script. So the URL. So here is the URL which we are going to record the advantage online backing.com and then click on start recording. This will start the recording. Uh, the browser is automatically open here. And once it is opened, you can very well see um, uh, that the record the requests are getting recorded here. So here you can see the uh, the first request advantage online banking. It's a like basically a get request. And it shows what all the values that is getting populated uh, in this request the header con the header of it the content the cookies everything will get recorded as part of this request so for now the first script first step is the uh is the landing page and then now we we'll enter the credentials to this one yep so now once we have entered it uh the next steps have passed in so here you can see the API accounts where we enter the credentials and then the API account dashboard. I think this is the one that we have the post login here, the post request, where you can see um, we uh, use this for sending the request. This is basically a post request which we all know where we send the uh, username and password. And yep, here you can see the headers, username and password, everything is uh, saved here uh, in, in terms of. Um, the request what type of uh, request is it and uh, what are the contents of it what are the cookies and then here you can see the headers like the request url what is being sent the method the request method and then in the payload we have the cookies we have the query parameters so everything is uh, saved in here and then let's go to the next step the third step so what we'll do is uh, let me go to the new transfers and under the new transfers okay uh, even that step is also recorded under the new transfers, I'm going to go to the transfer to my account and then I'm going to just test for this one. Uh, it's going to be K6 recorded by Little Slot. Yeah, Little Slot is a YouTube channel name, so I'm using that. And clicking on send, and yep. So now the transaction has been successfully done. So here you can see we have um, given the uh, request, the get request, so the post request for this one. And it has been working fine and then what we'll do is uh yeah let's now log out so i did i have did the transaction then i have logged out yep that's also recorded then yep, yep good so i'm stopping that recording and the next step is i have to generate the test i have to create a test generator and what for that what i'm going to do is so it, it asks me that what hosts i need to include in my test so i just want to use only my advantage online bank so when i choose this automatically only those requests will be selected and none of the other uh, requests that have been recorded during the testing will not be saved so that's very important so we don't want to test every everything else that will create too much of confusions and then i'm clicking on continue so now here you can see we in the first uh, under the recording we have got the script and uh, under the uh, test generator we have generated the script and then now what we'll do is let's um, save this generator and here in the script so this is the script which we have created which is the product now and now let's run the testing and in this step so now we have generated the script we have generated the the final one and in case if you want to add any rules we can use it so when i say rules we can do the parameterization and we can do the correlation and in case if you want to do any custom code yes we can do that but for now, we are going to have this in the next video. I do not want to uh, bring everything in the same video to uh, give you too much of confusion. So the first thing, just try the recording. Just try doing this and you'll understand how the case studio works and how what, what, what you can see in the code. And uh, then you, we have the testing options where you can ramp up, where you can actually do the load test, the load profile. We can um, uh, do the ramp up, where we can do the uh, steady state and everything can be set here. And if you want to add any think times, yes, we can very well use it. And if you want to add any uh, test data, we can very well use that as well. And allowed hosts. So here, yep, this is the only uh, host that we have recorded. So I'm going to use the same. And on the right side, top, you can see two options. One is you can validate and you can export. So just when I click on export, I can get this is the J script, which is the original Java, JavaScript, the original one that we use for 
um, the uh, k6 scripting so in case if you want to you can download it and then you can run it uh, through your uh, command line mode uh, but for now i'm going to validate the script so let me click on validate before let's check the request so here you can see only the advantage online request and then enter back to the script and click on validate and yep so the validation has started now and yeah so here you can see the validation has started and it's working fine so it's running fine and uh, yep so the validation is completed yeah the validation is completed and what we'll do is so to just confirm that the scripting the scripting actually has worked fine and then we did uh, a validation of the script let's see whether the test that we the script that we created is working fine or not so for that let's go to the new transfer sorry in the dashboard if you go to the view all transactions yes here you can see this this is the one that, I, that we have used for recording and this is the one that has been executed during the validation so we the, the script actually is working fine so that's what i was trying to say so the script that we recorded worked fine and then the script that we executed is also working fine so this is the very first step uh, and now you get to see the uh, the complete k6 script so this is in fact more useful for you rather than you create a script by using uh, the coding so this this actually adds you more advantage you can uh, record several things you can record various other options in the screen and uh, in case if you want to try this just try it and let me know if you have any questions or feedbacks we'll catch up in the next session and we'll add the rules like we'll try the parameterization in our next script and that's going to be very interesting and until i meet you in the next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite let us like YouTube channel. Take care and bye-bye. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video and like the video. And see you. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.